This is a completely optional video of the PFSN series to basically teach you, or pass along what I have learned on how to export a custom DSM like the one I created for PFSense. What you need to do is go into the DSM editor, look for the PFSense and there was a video that shows all the steps to create this and when we go to event mapping here are the specific event mappings we this uh, selected for the the for that um, DSM now what you need to do is that you need to create an additional uh, QID because the standard QIDs will not go on the export process. Let me see, let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm here on the terminal and I SSH into the curator box. If I issue this command, I'm going to look for DHCP request property. Notice that we are going to get only one entry and that entry has, uh, I believe, eight characters long and because it's a standard curator. This is the one that I'm referring to, They're just a pure DACP uh, request, not denied or, or meta IP. So notice that there are only eight characters here. This will not get exported. So what you need to do is uh, you need to go into every one of the properties. I did this for all the other ones and I'm doing this as the last one. So you need to do this for all, all, all those. So you can grab that name know put on the clipboard click edit and in here click create new custom ID record then you paste that name you can put the same description or, or whatever you want and you're going to copy the definition that you have here so high level category is application and the low level category is DACP uh, session in progress right and you click save when you do that notice that you get a 10 digit number and that's the one that you need to grab so I just grab that so let's say that you uh, actually there's nothing else you need to do here you, you can click save and we are done let's say you forgot about that particular one well you can always go here into the SSH session and if I ask for DHCP request we're going to get two entries for just playing DHCP request one with eight characters and another one with ten, ten characters and this one will get exported so we got all the QIDs 10 digits QIDs from from this process and we're going to put them into a text file let me show you that so here are the 15 custom properties that we added and the new QIDs that we created we save that and you can give that whatever name you want to the to that file now the next step is to put that file into the QRadar box. I'm going to use FileZilla for that. So I'm grabbing that file. I'm going to put it here in OPT Curator bin. There we have it, right? Now the next step is to run the export command. So the command that we're going to be doing, we are already in that bin directory, is the content management. The action is export. The type of content is a package because we put all those QID maps. We're not exporting one at a time. We're putting all of them in a package. And the descriptor for what's in the package is this file that we just uh, saved. So we hit enter. And then if I did uh, this right, we should see the 15 QIDs, custom QIDs being exported. And you don't need to export the the log source extension or the log source. Uh, they should be already grabbed automatically. So let's see what we got. 
So we got the 15 QID maps, that's actually pretty good. We got 14 DSM event, I don't know why we didn't get 15, but uh, not sure about that. One sensor device type, log source type. One sensor device category and the device extension. So, and, and then we have this file that we can actually use to import this from the extension management into any other curator system, which I'm going to do in another video.